you know, Raggedy Ann and Andy have been sitting here on this shelf ever since we began talking about the wonderful ways your body works. Do you think they have learned anything from what we've been talking about? What do they know? Anything about anything? Why not? Raggedy Ann and Andy are very pleasant rag dolls, but they aren't living things with the ability you have to know, and they don't have the equipment you have to find out about the world around them. What equipment do you have? How come you know so much? Well, first of all, you have a brain that lets you learn and remember what you've learned, and then you have eyes to see with, nose to smell with, ears to hear with, tongue to taste with, and skin all over your body to feel with. All of these organs, your eyes, ears, nose, tongue, skin, are all part of your body equipment. They are called your sense organs. They sense or feel what's going on in the world outside your body. Their job is to report to your brain and tell it what it needs to know to keep you alive. How do these messages get to your brain? How do the messages from outside your body get to your brain, inside your body? They travel on a network of nerves, big nerves like cables, medium-sized nerves like wires, tiny nerves like fine threads run everywhere all over your body. And as you can see, many of them begin and end in your sense organs. They carry thousands of messages to and from your brain every minute. And what messages are your sense organs sending to your brain right now? What about your eyes? What are they doing? They're taking pictures. Nerves in the back of your head are sending messages to your brain about what I'm wearing, where I'm standing, what I'm holding in my hand. Your eyes are like cameras, taking pictures of me and everything around me. And what are they doing with these messages, your eyes? They're sending them to your brain, right. And this may be a little hard to understand, but your eyes have to send a message to your brain before you can see something. Your brain is just a big grayish ball of cells shut up in your skull. It's dark in there. Without your eyes sending sight messages from the outside world, you can't see anything. Your brain can't see any pictures on its own. It needs your eyes. And without your brain, your eyes are like two cameras without any film in them. Oh, you can squint and blink and click, but you don't have any picture. What you see tells you a lot about the world around you, and sometimes it gives you a very special feeling, too. Imagine never being able to see anything as beautiful as a sunset. Without your eyes and your brain working together, you couldn't see a sunset or anything else. What other senses are you using right now? What sense organ? Your ears, right. You are hearing what I'm saying, I hope. And if somebody near you is whispering or shuffling their feet, you're hearing that too, aren't you? Shh. Feel your ears. They stick out from your head, don't they? Can you guess why they're built this way? To trap sounds into your brain. Can you make them stick out more? Yes, if you cup your hands around them like this, then you can trap sounds better. But suppose you didn't have these sound traps to hear with. It would make the world a very different place.
Without your ears sending you sound messages, you couldn't hear anything at all. Your brain and your ears must work together. Well, you're seeing me with your eyes and you're hearing me with your ears. Are you using any other senses right now? Is your sense of touch working? How? You probably have to stop and think about that for a minute. Well, is your seat touching the seat of your chair? Is your seat on your seat? <laughs> well, how does your chair or whatever you're sitting on feel? Raise your hand if it feels hard like what I'm sitting on. Okay, hands down. And how would it feel if you were sitting in a chair like this? Mm. Yes, very soft. So you see, your body can tell the difference between things that are soft and things that are hard. And your body can also tell the difference between oof, hot water and mm, cold water, rough things like sandpaper, smooth like this tabletop, Fuzzy like the silky elephant. Ugh, and painful like the stiff brush. And as you probably know by now, the nerve endings in your skin send the messages, but it's really your brain that feels. In fact, did you know that you can tell what something is just by feeling it? Hey, I wonder what's in this bag. It's something round and soft. It has a hole in the middle. It feels a little bit greasy. It feels like a donut. It smells like a donut. It tastes like a donut. It is a donut. Mm. Tasting good things to eat, like donuts, makes life more enjoyable. Your tongue is really a very important sense organ. But funny as it sounds, you know, it's really your brain that does the tasting. If the taste buds on your tongue, those little rough bumps you feel on your tongue, if they didn't send messages to your brain, you wouldn't know what sweet, sour, salty, bitter, or spicy meant. And just as important, especially when you're eating, is your sense of smell. If you've ever had a cold in the nose, then you know how hard it is to taste anything when your nose is stuffed up. Of course, it's not just the taste of food that makes life more exciting. Imagine never being able to smell flowers. Mm. Or to see them. Or to touch them. How does the wonderful smell of flowers get to your brain? <laughs> well, your nose, you might say, is something like the nozzle of a vacuum cleaner. It scoops up smells like a vacuum cleaner scoops up dirt. And then nerves at the back of your nose send those smell messages to your brain. Well, how come you know so much? Because from the day that you were born, you have been receiving millions and millions of messages a day. And your brain has been busy recording everything you see, hear, smell, taste, or feel. I never would have known that good tasting food was a donut if I hadn't seen one before and remembered it. Your sense organs are the best teaching machines in the world. That's how come you know so much. But suppose, starting today, this minute, you could no longer use your sense organs. How much would you know? Well, yes, you'd know, your brain would know what it knows now. But how much more would you learn 
if your senses weren't telling your brain anything? Wouldn't it be like spending the rest of your life in a black box like this one? Don't worry. I won't be gone long. Oh my gosh, it's black in here. I can't see a thing. Ooh. There's no way any sight messages are going from my eyes to my brain. Oh, well, there's nothing special to see anyway. And I can't hear anything, except myself. Ugh. Hmm. Oh, well, but there's nothing in the room making noise anyway. Is there? <sighs> I'm hungry. Too bad there's nothing to eat. There isn't even anything to smell. I wish I could smell those flowers again. Golly, I thought my room was empty until I got in here. Ah, uh, I'd like just to walk around and touch all my favorite things. I have such nice things in my room. Hmm. This is nothing. Where did I ever get an idea to try this experiment? This is really dull. Besides, I'm getting lonesome. I think before I lose my senses, I'll come out and use my senses. See? Just what I thought. Nothing happened while I was in there. Ah! What? What happened here? What's going on? Who did this? Oh, somebody has made such a mess. <sighs> See what happens when you aren't able to use your senses? I have no idea what went on out here while I was in the black box. And I guess I'll never know. All About You is a project of the Agency for Instructional Television.